I got a message from um, a student that um, they sent me a web link to uh, an article on um, a site called ultimateguitar.com. I'm just looking at it now. I'm sorry for uh, my focus, but uh, they said, would this be uh, any good for the channel? Do you fancy um, doing it, having a go at it? The article is uh, 10 easy riffs for beginner guitar players. And it's uh, it says underneath, hey, everyone needs to start somewhere. Sounds like a lot of fun. So I've had a, a quick, um, just a real quick read through and uh, there's some classic riffs in there. They all look like they're, um, they look easy, if you want to call it that, but um, obviously they, they would seem easy to me because I've been playing a little while. Um, but they seem approachable and something that um, most people should be able to at least have a go at, um, if not be able to play them. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing here that's going to be, um, you know, super difficult or, or really have you scratching your head, I don't think. So um, what I've decided to do is rather than just, uh, I was going to just play through the entire article, play through the 10 riffs, have a bit of a chat like I sometimes do, but rather than do that I've decided to split the riffs up and I'll record each riff individually with the performance notes um, and, and try and give you any guidance that I can do just to make it easier for you. So if you just want to learn one of the riffs you don't have to watch through my entire video that will probably end up being 20-30 minutes with all these riffs and other bits in. Uh, because it's a website, I'll, I'll include the link. Um, the the website, the actual website is ultimateguitar.com. I'll, um, I'll I'll drop a link to the to the page that it's at, so you can see the article itself. It's got the tab on there, so that you can um, you can read the tab. So I'm not going to describe the notes I'm playing. I'll rely on you being having access to that tab. So I'll put that in all of the um, in all of the various different ten videos, but they're all contained within the same article. So you might have to just scroll up and down to be able to um, look at the song that you're going to focus on. I'm going to use electric guitar um, because some of the riffs uh, were originally played with a little bit of a distortion overdrive effect which I can't do with the acoustic so I can I can, I can use the guitar and amp to uh, recreate that. That's not to say that it can't be played on an um, acoustic clean sound. All of these riffs can be played and practiced on an acoustic guitar with a clean sound. You don't need to have electric guitar and uh, equipment to be able to do it. The reason I chose to do it this way is to try and get a little bit closer to the uh, original sound as it was produced by the artist. I'm not going to go daft with trying to really tweak the sound in to be exactly like them but just from my experience just having a little bit of um, the overdrive distortion, a bit of gain on the amp, that, that dirty gritty sound um, makes the riff feel a little bit um, more authentic than uh, than without, but as I said, that's an option, completely up to you, if you don't have um, electric guitar, it's no problem, still play along anyway. You'll probably recognise a lot of the riffs once you hear them, uh, they're quite fun, and um, I'll, put, I'll put links in this video to each of the different riffs in, in, um, in the order that I record them, so that you can quickly link uh, to them. I hope it helps you, I hope it's fun to play. Um, I haven't played them through yet, so I'm gonna to have to probably sight read it and have a bit of a bit of a blag. If I do a poo-boo, I'll do a poo-boo. I'm just gonna follow the music as it is on there and um, have a bit of fun doing it, which is the main thing.